Extraordinary English Podcast. This is Extraordinary English Podcast, episode number two. Welcome everyone, I am Ben. In this second episode, we'll continue to talk to Sarah from Egypt. As we already said previously, we are both English learners. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do, Sarah? Hello, Ben. Good to see you. Have you not exact we published the first episode more than one year ago? Don't you think we made our listeners wait so long? You are right. But since it is an extraordinary podcast, our listeners should also expect nothing less. By following Extraordinary English Podcast, they are already up to be surprised. Hmm, I agree with you. But I still think we shouldn't push our luck though. Anyway, give me the news. How did the listeners react to the first episode? Actually, I wasn't expecting to get so much positive feedbacks. Not even one was negative. Please don't say we got just one feedback. Oh, very funny. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm joking. Go on. I started to wonder if we are not extraordinary enough. Shouldn't we have gotten some negative feedbacks which have said what you are doing is strange and not useful? So, do you think we should increase our limits? Why not? We can try to be more extraordinary. What would you say if I say we didn't spread the podcast enough? I would say, how come? We have put it on Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, Spotify. And also we have created a YouTube channel for it. And also we have created a YouTube channel for it. Indeed we did, but audiences aren't aware of it. Can you tell me how many times the first episode has been watched on YouTube so far? Hmm, less than a thousand. See? It needs to be reached to community in tourist in English. Do you have any suggestion? How about free for talk? Free for talk? Definitely! Don't you remember we hit it off on free for talk for the first time? Is it possible I don't remember it? I've improved my spoken English so much after joining it. Besides, I've met with very nice people there. For example, Clara, Amr, you. Oh, that is very kind of you then. Sarah, something came to my mind. What is that? Since we've got many benefits from free for talk, why don't we introduce it to our listeners? It's a good idea. It would be better to invite the admin to our podcast and let him introduce Free for Talk to our listeners. Okay then, let me get the ball rolling. And I will also not publish the second episode until the first one is watched 1000 times on YouTube. One way or another, it will hit that. Don't think about that now. Drive safe. I made up my mind. Hello Amr, welcome to Extraordinary English Podcast. You are one of the Free for Talk admins. Hi Ben. Free for Talk is especially very useful platform for speaking. Mm -hmm. Personally, I've got a lot of benefits from it. Can you inform our listeners about Free for Talk a little bit? As you know, uh, many English learners struggling to find a partner to practice with. So, the main idea is that Free for Talk is a place where you can have a conversation whenever you want, without the need to schedule anything. Whenever you have free time, just enter Free for Talk and talk. And the best, it is free. It is very good point. For example, before I found Free for Talk, I was looking for people to practice my speaking. But most of them, they were not ready to talk. Or they didn't have time. Yeah, but on Free for Talk, people are ready to talk. And you can always find people from around the world, from different countries, different cultures. So, it is not only for practicing English, but also for getting knowledge about different cultures. Of course, and it is not limited for English. You can practice other languages too. You don't need to be very good in a language to practice it, right? 
Surely, a person can create a room and specify a level like beginner, intermediate, advanced, and so on. So, the other people join the rooms by picking a level suit them. It is really useful platform. Thank you for being with us, Amr. It was really nice to talk to you. Thank you for having me in such a beautiful podcast and allow me to introduce Free for Talk to your listeners. It's my pleasure. Look at that, who is here? Hello, Clara. What are you doing? Hello, Ben. I'm waiting for my bus, as you see, but it became late. I hate it. Don't worry, Clara. My car is over there. I can take you home. Really? I would be very happy. So, tell me, Ben, what have you been up to lately? Working on the second episode of Extraordinary English Podcast. Very nice to hear that. The first episode was amazing. I had a blast while listening to it. Thank you so much, Clara. I'm looking forward to listen to the second episode. What are you planning to do in the next one? We'll continue with Sarah. I should say that I really liked her so much. She was so talented. Clara, guess what? What? Do you know that Sarah is running a coffee shop and her place is on our way? Really? Can we stop by and say hi to her? Certainly. If you have time, it's fine for me. Welcome back, Ben. How was your interview with Amr? It was beneficial and informative. Sarah, guess who I brought with me? Who? Me? Oh, Clara, welcome. It's very nice to see you around. After the interview with Amr, I ran into Clara on my way back. She was waiting for her bus. Since my car was available, I offered her a ride. And here we are. Sarah, I liked your performance so much in the first episode of Extraordinary English Podcast. Oh, it's very kind of you, Clara, to say that. And I heard you're working on the second episode already. Yes, uh, it took time, but we finally got around to doing some recordings. Forgive me a moment. Mm, two special cafes for Ben and Clara are just on the way. Actually, Sarah, coffee is not my cup of tea. So, you prefer tea? <laughs> Can I get a strawberry milkshake instead? You know what, Clara? Uh, the coffee is on the house, but strawberry milkshake is not. What do you mean? Should I pay for it? Of course no. Ben will pick up the tab. What? Who? Me? I don't have any money. <laughs> Come on, I'm joking. One day I will die due to your jokes. Don't say that, Ben. <laughs> okay, tell me. When will you publish the next episode of Extraordinary English Podcast? It's just around the corner. It's just around the corner. Uh, he says uh, when the previous episode is watched 1,000 times on YouTube, he will release the second one. Will it be the same for the next episode as well? Why are you asking? If it is the case, I will share and recommend it to my friends and tell them to subscribe and like so that you won't be able to publish a new episode once in a blue moon anymore. It's really stimulating to see you are interested in extraordinary English podcasts so much. Thank you, Clara. Thank you, Clara. Ben, um, something came to my mind. What's that, Sarah? Clara, would you like to join us in the second episode of Extraordinary English Podcast? Hmm? <gasps> really? I would love to. Wow! Extra, extra. What? Yeah, pl- pl- 
please choose the one you like. I'm sorry. What? No, no, not this one. What? No! Why? Why, why, why? I'm so sorry. This is just a simple what and it sounds weird to me. Clara, guess what? 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 Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I, I messed up. Sorry. Should I laugh here? Should we um, include the laugh? Because she is saying, so do you prefer tea? And I'm like saying, <laughs> it's like I'm laughing a little. I'm sorry, I'm kind of nervous right now. It's gonna be like, <laughs> no, no, not like this. No. <laughs> okay, let's not include the laugh. Let's just say, don't say that, man. <laughs> but what's wrong with me? Let me drink some. Is it still recording? I'm sorry, I thought I was out of the record. Okay, here comes my worst line. This is bad. <laughs> like, not bad, but challenging a little bit, I can say. One last time. I swear this is the last. In the second episode of Extra Erdogan Boom. In the second episode of Extraordinary English Experience Extra Extraordinary Extraordinary English Podcast Ben will pick that up Alp After the interview with Amr I ran into Clara on my way back She was waiting for her bus Since my car was available, I offered her the ride, and here we are.